everyone and welcome to another weekly reading vlog yes i'm doing one of those again already because as you may have seen uh, i have a new camera it's the canon g7x mark ii and like i'm so happy with it and the quality looks so amazing but yeah since i now have this camera i just had to try it out with another reading vlog that's what i'm going to do this week and i really hope you enjoy it i mean you always seem to enjoy um, like these weekly vlogs so i'm just going to try it out and see what i think of it but yeah for what i am reading at the moment i am currently about halfway through uh the battle of the labyrinth the fourth book in the percy jackson series by rick ryden in my previous reading vlog i mentioned that i had a bit of like a reading slump i had some trouble focusing on books but now that my exam like that exam of last week is over I have way more concentration and like I read half of this book in a day so that's amazing. So like I really feel my reading flow coming back and I'm just so happy about that. And then I'm also currently in the middle of the audiobook of A Torch Against the Night by Sabah Tahir. Again I read uh, An Ember in the Ashes last week or like two weeks ago in my previous vlog and now i am listening to the torch against the night again so i am prepared for the third book in the series to come out so yeah this week i'm at least going to continue with those two books and hopefully i can finish at least one of those two and yeah as i said my exam is now over but i still have like school stuff to do but i don't have that like immediate pressure of something that is happening like this week so yeah i really hope this is going to be a really good reading week again i'm so excited about it i'm also so excited about this camera like i'm looking at it at the screen there and it looks just so beautiful so much better than my previous camera and yeah as i said i really hope you like it as well hey so that exam that i had last week and that i just could not shut up about in my previous reading vlog i got my grade this morning and i passed and i'm so so incredibly happy about that i actually got a really good grade and like i hadn't expected that at all but i'm incredibly happy all my studying has paid off so it's really really nice that i just finished that and that it's all okay so yeah i am really proud of myself about that then this afternoon i went for a really quick shopping trip i really need some clothes for summer but i'm horrible at shopping and like at fashion in general but i went for a really quick trip this afternoon and i went to gouda which is a city that is very close by where i live and it's a very beautiful city it's a very typical dutch city and it's also uh, famous for its cheese like gouda cheese so yeah i went there and i also went to the local bookshop real quickly because as you all know i love a good bookshop and i just love like taking a look at all the books and yeah that just made me really happy also and yeah i ended up buying three uh t-shirts i can show you them real quickly because it's really not that much but yeah i got this very colorful one that i thought was very uh, suitable for summer i got this one with all all sorts of flowers on it again like perfect for summer and i got this purple one because i really like the color so yeah that was it for what i bought it's not a lot but as i said i'm not really that good at shopping so i like to go for like quick trips and then buy one or two things or three things but yeah it's now already late in the afternoon and i think i'm just going to read a little bit of percy jackson until it's time for dinner hey so today i feel like really tired i don't really know why because i slept really long last night but apparently still it wasn't long enough maybe it's because it's the end of the year and i'm just like a little bit drained of energy but anyway um this morning i filmed a video but yeah i will probably edit and upload that video tomorrow but in any case it's filmed and then last night i read a big chunk of the uh battle of the labyrinth i have to say so far this is my favorite percy jackson book i don't know why maybe because i now know the characters a lot better and i like really feel for them i'm just enjoying that book so so much it's like the perfect book for me at this moment i think so yeah i think i'm just going to uh, read a little bit more of that now then tonight i have to work and yeah i'm pretty sure i can finish that book this week because it's really not that long and it's such a quick read so that makes me really happy at least i can finish one book this week so yeah again really happy about that hey so it is already wednesday like this week is going by so fast but yeah this morning i filmed another video and i put my new t-shirt on as you can see i really love these colors and it like matches perfectly with this lipstick so i'm like really happy with like this look the lipstick is another Kat Von D lipstick by the way and it's called uh, Double Dare just because sometimes people ask me but like the Kat Von D lipsticks are 
really really good and i really love them but anyway i now have something very exciting because i got a couple of packages in the mail so i'm going to do a little unboxing for you guys and it's going to be harry potter themed it has been a while since i bought something um harry potter related but now i got two things so let's just open them up because i'm so excited and i really want to show you guys so first of all i have this package from amazon so let's just open that up first Ooh, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so I got the French edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And look how absolutely gorgeous it is. It has like the um, Pottermore artwork on it. I love this cover. I love it so much. Also, it's like extremely floppy. But yeah, I can hear you asking, Michelle, why do you need a copy of Harry Potter in French? And I'm just like, well, why not? <laughs> I, of course, have many many harry potter books and i just love to collect them and i saw this cover on amazon and i was completely in love with it and i had waited a few weeks but still i was so in love with it so i just decided to buy it so now i have harry potter and the philosopher's stone in three languages i have them in english of course and also of course in dutch and now i have the french one and it's called uh, harry potter à l'école des sorcières i had french in high school for like six years and at one point i was actually pretty good at reading french but it has been four years since i actually did something or read something in french so i don't know how good it is right now but still this is one of my favorite books and i know it really really well and i do have a bit of knowledge of the french language so i think i might actually be able to read this book mr a mrs dursley qui habite en quatre privé drive avait toujours affirmé avec la plus grande fierté et qu'il était parfaitement normal merci pour eux so yeah that was probably the worst french pronunciation ever but like i tried i'm so happy with this i love it it's so pretty and i only bought the first one but now i'm so tempted to buy the entire set the thing is i just really don't know where to put them because my shelves are just full i already have two entire shelves dedicated to harry potter i don't know if i can like dedicate a third one because where do i put my other books but then we have the next package Okay, so I got a box set of all the Harry Potter movies. So at one point we did own all the Harry Potter films. And we still have like the last four films. I have them in my room right here. But films one, two, three are just lost and we don't know where they are. So that's why I decided to just buy an entire box set. Because actually buying an entire box set was cheaper than buying the first three films separately. But also I got this box set because I really want to rewatch all the movies because it has been so long since I've done that. I think it's almost like two years ago. And I'm actually planning to rewatch all the films and then do a video about my ranking of the Harry Potter movies. Just as I did with the books, but now with the movie so that i can do another harry potter video so i'm going to watch these during the summer and then i can do that video and i'm just so excited it has been so long and i do love these movies because of course they like the adaptations of my favorite book series ever and i'm also just happy to have my own set because the films we have here aren't technically mine they're more like the family editions so there they are all the films yeah, really happy with this as well. And now I think I'm going to get some lunch because I'm really hungry. So I had some food and now I think I'm going to edit a little bit of yesterday's video. And I'm also just like um, exporting uh, today's footage on my computer and it looks so amazing. I mean like the camera quality, it's so much better. I'm still not used to it. And like the colors are also way more beautiful with this camera. So yeah, definitely no regrets that I got this one. Like I'm I'm really, really happy with it. But yeah, as I said, I'm going to do a little bit of editing. I don't know if I can finish the entire video today, but I'm going to try. But yeah, also today is another really, really warm day outside. And I just went like out to get some groceries but yeah as i said before i'm not really that much of a summer hot weather person like that short trip was enough for me and now i think i'm going to hide inside like when it's the hottest of the day but maybe i will go for a little walk when it's in the evening when it's cooled down a little bit but yeah now i'm just going to edit a little bit and yeah i don't think today is going to be any special apart from that oh yeah maybe also i'm going to do a little bit of online shopping because i still need like 
more summer clothes <laughs> so i did finish editing my video and i've uploaded it so um, it will be online once you see this vlog it's about book series that i'm not going to finish and i will leave a link to it down below in the description box but yeah now i'm done with all that and i don't think i'm going to go for a walk because like it's really really warm outside way too warm to do something that is like exercising so yeah for now i was just like actually um going through my french harry potter book and so far i'm noticing that i really don't change that many names in the french edition like harry's relatives are still the dursleys it's still ron weasley and it's still dumbledore in the dutch editions all those names like get completely changed i don't know maybe that's something like unique about the dutch editions but yeah it is like really fun to read harry potter in yet another language and see like the differences hogwarts does have a different name it's called poudlard poudlard i probably also did not pronounce that right but yeah tomorrow morning i actually um have a facial in the morning i'm getting my brows done and i'm getting like a facial and i always do that like once every six weeks oh it's like really bright here but okay i'm really looking forward to that because it's always so relaxing so yeah for now i'm just going to read a little bit more of Percy Jackson I think and apart from that it will probably be just a quiet night so I just had my facial my face looks a bit red and a little bit shiny but my eyebrow game is really strong I always love the way they look after I just like had them done and yeah it was just really relaxing and I always love having like a treatment like that and now I think um, I'm going to have like a proper reading day. It feels like it has been ages since I could just dedicate an entire afternoon to reading. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to finish the Battle of the Labyrinth. And I actually hope to start like another book as well. So wish me luck. I'm going to do absolutely nothing. I'm going to relax. And I really, really need that. I'm reading Battle of the Labyrinth and... Um, no context, no spoilers, but some character just called Percy Jackson a puny boy. And that just reminds me of the first Avengers movie. Like when the Hulk smashes Loki and calls him a puny god. I just read that in like Hulk voice and now I'm like <laughs> really laughing about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish this book. I really don't have that much left. And I feel like this book is more action packed and like maybe a little bit more serious than the previous two books. But I guess that would make sense since... Um, in the fifth book like everything will come together and like the story will be wrapped up so i will continue reading this uh, until i finish it i guess it is now after dinner time and i have finished percy jackson and the battle of the labyrinth really enjoyed it it's such a fun and adventurous read i had a really really good time reading it and i gave it four out of five stars but now i'm just not sure what book i should read next i have a couple of contenders but i also still have to finish the Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. So I'm not sure. But I really did enjoy uh, having like an afternoon of reading for the first time in such a long time. And now I think I'm actually going to go for a walk. And this time I'm actually going even though it's still way too warm outside. But I really just want to go outside for a little bit. So yeah, doing that now and then probably some more reading this evening tomorrow i actually have to go to university for a little bit and just get some like school stuff sorted out but that probably won't take very long but yeah again tonight nothing special and i really like it that way actually i mean there's still enough to be done but it's nice to have a little bit of like breathing space in between okay so it's already friday evening and i was so busy today i actually didn't really have time to uh, film any updates as i said i had to go to university and i had to take care of some school stuff and then i had to run some errands and then in the afternoon i had to go to therapy so i feel like today i've just been running from place to place and now i'm actually pretty tired <laughs> also didn't read much just a little bit of a torch against the night i'm about halfway through with that book so i don't think i will finish it this weekend but at least I've made some progress. And now I really don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to take a shower and just like 
do nothing. Today was weird, but I will probably like give more updates tomorrow. Hey, so last night I started a new book. I started with Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor, the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bones series. I really, really love Daughter of Smoke and Bones, so I thought it was about time that I would pick up the sequel. I read about 80 pages of it last night, and so far it looks very promising. And then this morning I read a little bit of the Hobbit. I've just been slowly working my way through this every now and then and I'm about this far now so I really hope I can finish it sometime soon. It's still very funny and still like so random. Yeah, I just love sort of like the silliness of it. And then of course we also still have A Torch Against the Night which I listened to some more of and I'm about two thirds of the way in now i have about three hours of audiobook left and i just saw that my copper of a reaper at the gates has been sent so i'll probably receive that on uh, monday or tuesday so i'm really looking forward to that book and yeah hopefully i can uh, finish my audiobook before then but in any case it won't be that long anymore today is probably a very uneventful saturday i have to do some chores i just cleaned up my room a little bit i will probably do a little bit of editing as well i have some school stuff to do and of course i'm also planning on reading more and then tomorrow is actually going to be a really fun day because tomorrow i'm going to amsterdam with my sister we're going for a day of shopping and we do that like every once in a while and yeah day of amsterdam for us includes Shopping, as I said, but also a lot of unhealthy food. And of course, going to Waterstones Amsterdam, my favorite bookshop here in the Netherlands. So I will probably buy a book or two because I always do when I go there. And maybe we're also going to see Deadpool 2 because we still have to do that. But that really depends on like how much time we have. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. I always like having a sister day like that especially since my sister is going away for the entire summer so it's nice to like do something fun together but yeah for now i will probably go do some stuff and yeah that's basically all i have to tell you right now i've been reading a lot of the hobbit this afternoon i've gotten quite far actually i only have about 50 pages left so i think i might be able to finish it today and that would be really amazing because i've been reading this book for like a month and like that really does remind me why i normally don't really like to read a book for a month or why i don't like to read multiple books at one time because it distracts me a little bit and I'd rather just focus on one thing at a time instead. That's why I think it would be nice to just finish some of my currently reading books. And then just stick to one audiobook and one physical book at a time. I do want to read one separate audiobook because I really like audiobooks. I've really been getting the hang of audiobooks this year. So yeah, that is a bit of my like reading plan but still i do really enjoy the hobbit i think it's just so much fun so cute and i love how certain things in the book go really fast whilst in the movie it's like half a movie now, i think the movie adaptations could have been a lot better but yeah there are many people who have made like videos or things about that and then i will just continue reading this book until it's time for dinner that won't be too long now i'm completely home alone at the moment but i think my sister will be home and maybe my brother as well i really don't know my brother doesn't live at home anymore he has already moved out and of course he visits sometimes but like i never know when and then he's just there and i believe he was coming this weekend but i don't know i'm just going to keep reading because i'm really really enjoying it okay so several hours have passed as you can probably tell i've taken a shower and i also finished the hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Really really happy that I finally finished this and that I finally completely read it and I really really enjoyed it. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. It's definitely very much a children's book but I really loved like the tone of that and I'm also happy that I read this before the Lord of the Rings series because I think this was a good way to like get introduced to this world in a more simple way. I believe the Lord of the Rings books are a lot longer and a lot more like fantasy and a lot more richer in their stories this one was still relatively simple but yeah i'm really happy that i read this classic and that i finished another book this week i'm really really getting my reading flow back and i'm just so happy about that yeah now i think i'm probably going to watch some old grace and that's me episodes because i'm re-watching all of grace and that's me it's one of my all-time favorite tv shows and then go to sleep and then tomorrow have a fun day in amsterdam
so it is already monday now but when i came home last night i was so tired that i really did not have the energy to like end this vlog also i'm not wearing any makeup today because my eyes feel a bit sensitive today but anyway so yeah i had a really fun day um in amsterdam yesterday did a lot of shopping but i'm not going to show you all the clothes that i got because I'm just not feeling like doing a whole fashion haul. Maybe I will do that some other time. And I also, of course, got some books at Waterstones. I got the Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Penn. Heard a lot of good things about this book, so I'm very happy with that. And I have Evil Men by Giovanna and Tom Fletcher. I follow them on YouTube, so I really wanted to have their uh, first book together. But yeah, those were the books that i got and yeah basically we just had a really fun day i tried to give you a little bit of an impression but i'm not that great at like doing vlogs outside so i hope that will turn out okay but yeah this was it for this weekly reading vlog again i really hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you like these reading vlogs please let me know and then i will do probably more of them during the summer but this was it now for this vlog and if you like this video please go subscribe or give it a thumbs up because i would really appreciate that and then hopefully i will see you very soon in my next video bye